Boom! What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, I want to introduce you guys to uh, my new growth strategy. So, if you follow the conventional way of investing, uh, they will tell you to uh, buy your stock and hold it and keep adding and keep adding um, and go through the ups and downs of the market. Yes, that is a, a strategy that works um, and that's for people that just buy and just let it go. Uh, but you're not going to get the same amount of growth uh, compared to what I'm, I'm about to show you today. So before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So um, growth strategy, everybody's looking to grow their account. That's the purpose of investing, right? You want to put money and watch that money grow. Uh, but Wall Street in particular has actually thought us that uh, all you have to do is just buy and hold it and wait and go through the waves. And then when you get to the point where you, you want to retire, you can move that money from maybe high risk securities and put them in bonds so that when the market crashes, you don't have any issues. That is Wall Street. That's their approach. But uh, what I'm about to show you today, it's my approach that I'm actually uh, uh, starting to implement. And I used to be like you too. I used to be you know, an investor that followed that same approach that Wall Street prescribed for us. Think about it. They, they've been talking about this approach for years and years and years. But uh, if you are somebody that's active and you want to take full control of your investment, uh, this approach would work for you. If you're somebody that doesn't really want to worry about doing any work or managing your account actively, and then I, by all means, you know, stick with the old approach of putting your money and just letting it grow and just keep adding, which is it's still going to work. Again, uh, the traditional approach of you investing in the stock market has always been, uh, so when you start, you buy, let's say you start right here. So this would be your start. So when you invest right here, you'll start, um, the market would go up right there and then it will pull back down and then it would go up some and then it will pull back down and then it will go up some. So this is a traditional way of doing it. So you just tell that buy and just ride the waves. So this is the top right here, the bottom, the top, the bottom. If you look at it overall, it's not, I mean, it's still going up, right? It's still going up. But if you look at the gradient, it's really, really uh, flat. It's not as steep as you would want it to, to, to grow because everybody wants to see this arrow pointing up more like that, like really steep, which tells me that you're maximizing your growth, um, which is what everybody wants. So they tell you to, hey, when it goes up, you know, you if you, there's a pullback, you buy more. It goes up, the pullback, you buy more. So you keep doing that for years and years and years. But here's what I want us to do. Uh, I want you to try this strategy and see how it work out for you. So let's put this into perspective. You start here. You buy and it goes up. This is the top. There's a pullback right here coming back. So if you're a smart person, you this is the top right here. And then once it starts to pull back, you sell right here. Right, you sell here up almost at the top and then buy back down here at the bottom. So again, this will be your new buy at the bottom and then ride that wave back up to the top again. So this will be your new top, so new top right here. And then once it starts to pull back, you sell, it starts to pull back, you sell again right here and then buy back again down here. So, and then it goes up. So you repeat that process. It's just repeat and rinse, repeat, you know, repeat, repeat, repeat. And so here's what you do. Once the market is pulling back, unlike other people, if the market happens to pull back below where you started, then you sit there with your fingers crossed, hoping that the market goes back up under pressure. But what if you took the necessary steps to avoid that? Uh, because again, I've been in that situation. I know what it feels like to watch profit in your account disappear overnight until you are in the red for months and months. And you're sitting there thinking like, man, I wish I'd secure some of that profit. So here's what you can do. Once you go up and you see yourself having like good profit, assume that your account is up 70%, right? At this point, I can secure 50% of that account. 
So I'll put a I'll put a limit order right here to stop any bleeding at fifty percent. In that way, if if it bleeds below that account and I'm buying anything below, I am making money at that point because I'm buying cheap. And you probably think like, but how do you know where the bottom is? That's why nobody knows. Because if we knew, we just sit and wait, and when it hits the bottom, we buy. But you would use what I call DCA. You dollar cost average your way. So DCA, dollar cost average. So if I sold up here and this thing keeps pulling back, I, if I have, let's say I have uh, $1,000 to deploy, what I'm gonna do is, I'll start here, I can deploy, if it pulls back, I can deploy $200 right here. So that would be a point for me to deploy $200, right? If it continues to go down, somewhere down here, I'll deploy $200. Again, notice that once you add these two numbers and divide them, you would, your average should be somewhere in between, right there. So your dollar cost average goes down. Again, if it continues to go down, down here, then I'll deploy another $200, just like that until it goes down to the point where I deployed my entire amount. But the good, the good thing is now, because I sold at the top, I have enough money to buy more here. As opposed to, if you own 10 shares right here, let's say you own 10 shares, and it goes up, you didn't take out the profit. Now, if I took out the profit, and now with this, this, this uh, approach, I can buy now 15 shares at an even lower price. See, and that's how you grow your account. Then once this happen again, you ride that wave and set that stop loss. It's say, if, it, if, the account, if you are 100% um, a profit, you can say, hey, I want to secure 70% or 80%. So you give your room, yourself some wiggle room. You don't want to set a, a, a limit stop that will kick you out if there's any slight movement in the market. At least if you're up 100%, you can secure 70% and leave some wiggle room with 30% in terms of profit. So that's something. And again, the reason is because you don't want to be so greedy because you can, if you say you want to secure 80 or 90%, you secure 90% and the thing just tops your 90%, kicks you out and keep going up, then now you're going to be have, you either have to wait um, for another correction to come in, another pullback, or then you're going to start chasing. And we don't want you to be chasing. So. This is a strategy that would help you grow your account. Um, it is different from what Wall Street is telling you. Um, again, guys, definitely give it a shot because uh, the traditional way of investing it has always been buy and just hold until when you get to retirement before you can sell. That's, that approach, again, works for people that don't want to spend the time uh, managing the account, they want to spend the time doing some research, they want to spend the time putting stop losses, um, a limit uh, um, and stop losses in the account. If you don't want to do that, that's absolutely okay. But if you're somebody like me that thinks that I need to secure my money and so that I can buy the bottom, that's what I would do. Um, again, this is a growth strategy. This is strictly for growth. If you're looking for growth, you don't want to have to go through the ups and downs of the market. Like, oh man, my account was up uh, 50%. Now it's down 10 or 20%. And you ask yourself like, but why? And then you have to sit there and wait. Yeah, but in your teller like, oh, don't worry. It's gonna come back. It's gonna come back, but guess what? You are not gonna enjoy the benefit of somebody that sold up here. Because for people that sold up here, they can just sit and wait and watch the market crash all the way to the bottom right there, somewhere to the, at the bottom, and then they start buying. See that? So my entry price was, let's say right here, I started here, my entry price was $10 and something happened as a correction, and this price of this stock drops all the way down to eight. Now my entry price is gonna be $8, not 10 anymore. And I'm buying more because I sold at the top. So I made profit. So uh, let me know in the comment section, guys. What do you think about your strategy? Do you think this is something that you can actually implement? Or do you think, I don't want to worry about all that. I just want to keep buying and buying and making profit and going with the wave. Again, this is my strategy. Uh, tell me what you think. And if you uh, want to try this, try it at your own risk. Um, I'm just doing it because it works for me and I want to share that with you guys. Um, again, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. And if you're looking to get started with investing, uh, Weibo is doing a promotion where if you sign up, uh, deposit $100, you get a free stock. Um, and they also, they've added another thing that they give you level two data uh, for free um, right now, I think through December. 
So level two data is really important. If you day trade and you wanna see what's happening in the market, who is uh, buying in uh, the bid and the ask for a particular stock, level two data is awesome for that. So they're giving that level two data for free. So if you sign up, you get all that info. Um, and, and as always guys, uh, don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.